Hi, I'm Dean Groovy from Knife Tech NZ, and thanks for buying our filleting DVD. This is a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to fillet, skin and bone, and other techniques used to prepare a selection of fish species. This is the lemon sole. We're going to skin it by hand. So to skin it by hand, we just put a cut in by the head, turn it on its edge, make a cut like that. You can turn it over and make another cut on that side. Take a hand steel, put the hand steel, hand steel in there so you can get a hand hold. Poke your steel all the way through to the tail and bring it out. Don't come out too far because what can happen is that when you go to tear it back, if you've gone under here, you'll actually pull that centerpiece out. So when you fillet it, you'll end up splitting the fillet. So now all we do is we just hold the tail, pull the skin off. Turn it over, once again, put your steel in, run your steel all the way down to the tail, hold the tail, pull the skin back, and avoiding pulling that. We have two fish that we've skinned, one fish where we've actually skinned it off successfully and the other one where we didn't get it successfully because what we ended up doing is pulling out the centrepiece. So the steel went in towards the bone, so when we actually pulled it back, we actually pulled the flesh back with the skin and what happens then is when you fillet it, you'll end up with a split as opposed to one whole fillet. To fillet the lemon sole, they're a little bit trickier. We've already made a cut in to take the skin off, so now we have to get the knife in and run this literally along the bone. If we don't, we could end up poking out all sorts of places, so we have to make sure that we've got a good controlled cut along this edge. So we cut in, turn the knife on an angle, and keep it on that angle, okay? So you'll see the bones there have come in. If I cut here, I would actually go under those bones. So you need to, when you cut in, roll it and make sure you get on those mm -hmm. bones. If you cut too straight, then obviously you're restricting mm -hmm. your movement. If you cut too tight, then you'll cut under. So just make sure it's a nice smooth cut through to the end. Now what we're going to do, it's got quite a high rib bone, a uh, high bone through the centre. So we're going to cut up to that. So we're going to bring our knife, come right back to the tail and cut to the centre bone. So now you'll actually see that bone, see where it's flaking just there. Now what we have to do is we have to make sure we go over the top of that because it sits up literally like a knuckle and we have to be able to get down the other side. If we don't, then we're gonna leave flesh on both sides because we have to get the knife round on that angle. So what we're gonna do now that we've achieved that there to that point, Okay, we're going to take our knife and we're going to literally turn it on that angle. Okay, so what we've done here is we've come in, we've run our knife along, we've cut the fillet back to this bone here that I said that's, that's high. So then we could then turn the knife and get it round into that shape there from that high point down into the low points and then along there. Okay. If we didn't, we'd end up with flesh on both sides. Now, turn the fillet over, same principle. We have to come in here. Running your knife through, bring the knife back the other way until we get to the centre point. So now we've got to that point there. I'm going to put the knife in, and now we've got that angle. I'm going to take the second side off, okay? So getting the knife on the angle and coming around. Didn't quite get enough area through here, which will then impact that ability to get that last piece off there, causing that. No big drama, 
but it's all recovery loss. Now we have a row. It's preference to whether you want to leave that on. This is all the frill. Depending, it's only purely a dress. It's still perfectly edible. So you can either leave it on or take it off. Same on this side. Once again, it's all edible. But if you don't like the look of it, then just trim it off. There's a small amount of bone up in the head in here. So you can just V-bone that and any other blood pieces that you don't like. This fillet, once again, if you don't like the row, then simply peel it out. You can leave that frill on. And this is just damage from when it's been caught. You can just V-cut that out. If you don't like the black, then trim it out and you've got those fillets. This is the damaged one that we did when we skinned it. So you'll see what's going to happen. So same principle, come in, turn your knife and run along. And you can already see how it's coming out through here. We're going to run it back towards the centre of the fish. And already you can see what's happened there. So we'll turn the fish over. So now you can see how it makes the filleting and the quality of the fish very difficult. So even though we've got these portions, the whole fish just falls apart. So it's very important to make sure that when you're skinning it by hand, that you get it all correct. Otherwise, the quality difference is, is huge. So just once again, taking off the frills. I'd love to get your feedback and photos on the success of your next prepared catch. If you'd like to see anything on the up and coming DVDs, please let me know. You can get our details off the screen now or from the back of the DVD case.